Hey guys and welcome back to Auction Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we're in the rock full of brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space where we might very well be watching the downfall of a civilization in real time. Over the past couple of episodes we have discovered a few small issues going on. Our nuclear power station has not been built, getting built as fast as we like. Uh, on reversal, we've been running out of both lumber and polluted water as well as running out of magma in our magma cooling chamber over here. Blagonia has been having water issues but more importantly than anything else this thing exploded over here and our water situation is just terrible on by accident. I'm actually going to pause the game at this point and we're going to go through and just do a couple of things that we want to make sure are getting set up over on just a whole bunch of places. You can see over here we've got ourselves a Red Bull generator over by the, uh, the nuclear power plant. Uh, I do want that up and running but I also want to make sure that we can get power to there as well so i'm going to grab some gold uh we're going to run this down and I, I don't know whether we want to drop it all the way down most of this is not going to be in use so um 4 16 i mean maybe if we do that that will be fine and then we're going to deconnect this and take all of these pumps out because we do not want to be pumping steam out of our fresh nuclear um nuclear plate that we, 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 we'll be processing the steam with the steam turbines that's why we want to keep hold of that on Blagonia I see there's been some water issues uh, and we can solve those pretty easily by taking out these two tiles here uh, and moving this water pump to be on the other side of this wall and then anything that goes over this top tile here will get picked up and thrown into this line here which is the uh, the polluted water line uh, comes from our natural gas generator system over here it's been going rather well been going rather well but every now and then gulp fishes are born into inside of my fish farm here what has happened on the right hand side we've got far too many fish in there no problem uh, and they produce the clean water so if we have a nice little spillway over the top maybe we can start getting the uh, the electrolyzer up and running again because it's currently out of water you see it kind of works well because we've got ourselves full toilet water here and then some comes down and uh, the overflow gets turned into oxygen that was the thing we wanted to do on reverse lint uh, Sorry, on Blagolia and of course on Reverslin. One thing that I've noticed is that we are producing a lot of mud up here, and uh, we've actually been running out of uh, running out of water down this way. Uh, if I can remove all of ah, oh, this is all my seeds. That's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll move. We'll move the seed store over here. And what I actually want to do is turn all of this into mesh tiles here. Uh, and then when we actually manage to do that, can we move all? Oh man, there's there's no like move to button here is there no there is not unfortunately we'd have to go through and move all, each of these individually and there's 700 and something odd um, mill wood there so let's try and get that built as fast as possible and then we can move them all using automatics now Blagolia, uh, not Blagolia, Pyaxlin I know where I'm going honestly uh, what are we going to do about this well somehow we need to drain all the water out of this area here you can see we've got a thermal um, thermal aqua tuners here that keep the base cool and then the steam turbine I think we'd like to try and fill that back in there and I think we might have to try and crack this open and let some water down this way it's probably going to be the only way we can do it and we'll uh, process the small water tank down here somehow and so we're, we're gonna we're gonna start doing that I never like busting into where the Drecos are but uh, I, I think we'll just live with that man that that's a, a whole bunch of uh, of jobs set up here I'm wondering whether we can actually drain them out this way uh, we somehow got to not plug this polluted water vent to try and stop it erupting because man there the are troubles here unfortunately the temperature that things come out at 30 degrees c we, we wouldn't be able to do the normal trick that we use of getting a temperature shift plate making it out of coal and then boiling the coal into refined carbon just won't work here uh, i'm not not even sure if there is a, another way to do this. Flooding it with water seems pretty uh, pretty good, but it's not, not been working for us, it turns out. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, let's stop. Ah, what, are they all still there? Actually, they're all still there. That's fine. That That's fine. So I, I came back being like, oh, I don't want the mesh tiles to, uh, to drop all the seeds on the floor. And somehow all the seeds are still fine and dandy. Uh, so I'm going to come to this automatic dispenser that we've got set up here i just all the seeds at the moment actually we don't we don't want all the seeds because there are a few grub fruit seeds and stuff like that that we do not want moved up here i'm also looking for 
Maybe it's just grub fruit, actually. Uh, thinking about it, uh, this, is, this is normal grub fruit. This is spindly grub fruit. In fact, we don't even have any uh, spindly grub fruit left. It's all irregular. Uh, so we can just move those are left up here with the plants and then everything else is moved down here okay so now we want to throw those across i'm gonna have to destroy a few of these ladders i didn't even think about that let's just copy some more out over here and then x these up uh, and then we can eventually eventually utilities drop a oh i thought it was in utilities let me check out and see where it actually is refinement there is a sludge press and from the sludge press we should be able to actually make some water water water's nice yo i i, I really am a big fan of water Water. Okay, I totally didn't forget that it needed a liquid output and the uh, the, the mesh tiles weren't going to be good enough. But we have put some uh, sludge, uh, sorry, some mud into the sludge processor. It's now going to output a little bit of dirt and then also some water to drop down. Okay, that's beautiful. That's very nice. In fact, that's a lot more water than I thought. Let's have a look. How much does it give us here? Uh, we process 150 kilograms of mud. We spin out uh, 90 kilos of water and then, of course, the rest of the 60 is is dirt okay that, that's that's really nice if we build stuff out of dirt it's got an overheat temperature of 10 degree less i didn't know that i was not aware that we even could build buildings out of dirt uh, okay so that's one of the things that we got going there i've asked people to go along and build some stuff and none of it seems to be working ah, ha, ha, ha. okay uh, no, none of it seems to be working because of course we cannot get in through that door and i'm not getting in through that door until we've dug up underneath and relieved some of the pressure there another thing that i really 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 need to get going with at some point is to drop a robo miner down here i'm feeling that we want to chill this area out instead of trying to make it so that it's not burning hot uh, by keeping a vacuum going we should just 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 have a cooling system that, that's probably the way to do it uh i'm gonna throw this here for now and then we also want to have wait what did i build that out of tungsten is that good enough is that what we want Overheat temperature 50. No, I don't think that is good enough. It's 700 degrees here. We're going to have to do something about the temperature before we can adjust that. I'm, I'm almost tempted to use the petroleum to cool the place down. But the, the water is much more important than that. That's just that's just a thing I'm thinking about. Here we go. This this is what I'm trying to look at. Look at here. I was like, I can, I can hear digging. I don't know where she is, though. One, two. Oh, we can't put it there. Two, three. Uh, and then I'm going to have to take out this pinch of pepper. Very sad about having to take out the pinch of pepper because these things have been growing forever in the same way that i'm sad that we're letting the drek out i might even just slam down a door that i know the water will flow through and uh, just, just be happy with the fact that that will contain the dracos back on reverse lynn sludge Predge is doing well blagolia has this been emptied out crate i'm gonna grab this water pump now uh, i'm not even gonna hook it up to to any type of automation there we go that that should be fine uh, and that is that good? You're just, you're just getting on with it. And then any water that ends up in this side passage here is just going to get moved straight up and into the excess water flow. We could probably get rid of that as well. And I imagine there the power also needs to be taken down. Not that one, though. Is everything else going on fine? I think so. We've got power. We've got solar. We've got, we've got things working out well. Yeah, I, I think we're doing okay here. Irrigal, how are you doing on building stuff over there? Not not even got to it yet. I also probably need to turn this off. Let, let, let's leave that be. Whilst it is great getting lumber delivered over to reverse linen, it's probably the thing that's turning over the most of our polluted water. Why isn't this not being... Chandra is currently on it. Okay, maybe that... Where did all this water come from? Maybe that will get us on to the point where uh, all the cooling can be good and done all right back to back to reversaling and uh, this this absolute nightmare of a system we've got going here oh i, I dug those in instead of mm, that's not quite what i wanted to do but all right that that's fine i suppose all right all right let's 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 meet that challenge can i indeed triple thick this wall i i, I kind of hope so i kind of hope so because that would actually save us a lot of trouble three tiles thick will never break will never break so we're gonna have to move that pump at some point and i don't know what we're gonna do on top i think that might have to be airflow tiles the problem is um, i'm running out of materials that i can build airflow tiles out of that's about as far as i can go which is just to help helpful because that is literally 
as far as we need to go. Okay, we've got ourselves a triple C thick bottom over here. That's pretty good. Are we able to also then double this up? It's, go it's gonna take little steps to make sure we get these the right size. We could do that. I really don't wanna end up, actually we need to uh, run the ladders up this side because I wanna put a third layer in afterwards, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna tap into here. Oh, maybe, maybe this is how I do wanna tap into here yet. Like, we, can, we, we can let it roll around this way. Yeah, actually, this is exactly how we're going to make this happen. Uh, back on reverse, I've done a little bit of a Rika jigger with the pipes here, so any of the overflow water will go and get processed back into regular water. Uh, that's because this was all backing up. You can see that the liquid has settled down there, and that's because we're trying to eat all of the water, this line here, coming from reverse lin, so if, uh, from Pyaxlin, sorry. So all of, the, all of the polluted water that's being filtered out of this here, and all of the water that's coming out of our toilets, and of course this, this pond here, uh, all coming down and being put through the teleporter to then go and get eaten by these anim uh, these plants over here. It's been working out mostly okay, but of course when things went wrong, we got a backup has been, um, been, been accrued over here. That's, that's pretty hard to deal with. Who, who's doing what? Oh, you're getting some copper. Okay, that, that's cool. I'd really rather you dealt with that tile right there. Hmm, Blagolia, the pipes are down, but it's blocked. Do we not have... You're also blocked. Oh, no, this is good. This is good. We've got got too much water for the electrolyte. That's, that's really good. That's really good. So this is now storing, uh, acting, sorry, as a backup tank. I like it. I like it. I thought I was a little bit worried when everything had frozen up there, but no, it's, it's going well. Let's pop down some ladders here so hopefully our duplicates can reach everything that they need to reach. Oh, and indeed, I see there's a bit of a problem coming over this way. Uh, eventually, we're going to be destroying that tile there, and we're going to let this fire in that direction. The idea is that the uh, rat bolt generators top and bottom uh, will pick up a whole bunch of radiation from the research reactor, fire it at this rad bolt reflector, which will fire along for all of the things that need the radiation. And then we've got room to expand generators top and bottom if we need to there. How are we going to cool it down? I'm not actually sure. I'm also going to cut that line there so that we don't have to worry about that until it's uh, until we're ready to worry about it. I, th I suppose that is the main thing. Okay, we're, we're digging, we're building, things are going on. I'll call you back when well i mean this this is this is the thing we're mostly worried about so i'll call you back when this is good oh actually whoa, 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 whoa. i'll tell you something else that i'm going to be doing trying to push these insulated tiles up because as i said we've run out we've run out of magma in the chamber and we we, we can't do it our, our, our hatches will starve if we do that so uh, let, let's try and get all this done as quick as possible i want everybody involved if that is a thing that we can do if we press f3 you can see there is some super 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 hot stuff right there uh, so if we can not really muck about too much with that, I'd be very, very grateful because the hot stuff, I mean, it's already getting the oxygen here to be above like three, 300 degrees, something like that. And uh, duplicates do not like temperatures that hot. But I'm going to carry on pushing this this way. Eventually, we end up with the same situation that we've got here where we just replace the corner tiles and then nobody is dealing with heat quite in such great excess as we have right now. Well, that's rather worrying. The, the uh, water in my radiant liquid pipes here nearly got to 99, and my steam turbines are super hot. And I know why. It's because we've got loads of 500-degree rock in the background here. Man, we got to bust in there at some point and get the... Uh... Oh, do we not have it? It's like a conveyor shut-off, but inside... Oh, I think that may... Actually, the thing that we were looking for was to have a sensor that sensed the temperature actually on the rails. That might have been the thing that we were waiting for. And have I not done that don't look like we've done that we'll well, uh, get on top of that still pushing the magma across this way and of course down there and there but play actually is the one that we're looking for oh we've got so much nearly done here so much nearly done i'm going to turn those up to eights not quite nines because i want these taken out at nine so that we can have a nice safe water flow down to the water without flooding out all of our power systems over here which was uh, maybe a little concern of mine as i was look checking the flow trajectory what's well, has got a whole bunch of stuff here that we're going to want to sweep up. I'll ask people to sweep those up. Ideally, it'll get done before it, all the water gets poured down there, but we'll see. Is this sandstone now going to get added to one of the sandstone piles and be swept up? Man, I've got to get that mod that enables you to see all of the different uh, different 
boxes that you've got without dropping off the bottom of the screen. Uh, that's a great mod and I should use it. Okay, we've got the walls in place and I think how I'm going to try and contain this polluted water vent for the moment while we get in there and do all the changes that we want to do is to use these airflow tiles to kind of pack everything in together and hopefully at that point it will just be over pressure like it is right now uh, and it won't be able to make any any liquids. That That's my hope. That's my hope. As soon as we get that last ladder in place, I'm going to go ahead and dig my way up there. A curie sign that she uh, doesn't want to do that. Oh no, she does want to do that immediately and for that I am very very grateful let's put that there I'm a little bit worried about what's gonna happen especially with that sand we might end up getting trapped in here I'm almost tempted to de destroy that wall there but we'll, we'll see what happens not entirely sure how well this is gonna go but it, it's it's gonna make gonna make the way a little bit clearer. I'm gonna press G and um, that poor poor little Draco down there. Uh, we're gonna dig that out and hopefully Curie's gonna make her way. She's just gonna make her way out anyway. That this is gonna fill up with some regular water. I'm more than happy for that to happen. I don't know where she's got scolding. Scolding. Why are we getting scolded here? Super hot conveyor lines by any chance? 36. Yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly what was making that. So. <laughs> This is kind of hot up here. Uh, okay, that, that's not the important bit. This is the important bit. The flow of the water. I might even need to get up there and take out these two bits of abyssalite at some point. I'm not sure who's going to go around and do that, but I, I hope it does get done at some point because that means we can then get up and start um, working with all of this. Indeed, when this little patch of water here gets emptied out, we should... Oh, didn't want to press that button. I wanted to uh, select, select this. The, the tile there, thank you. Yeah, there we go. And press B. I don't know. I don't know what was going wrong there. But if uh, if this pressure drops down below this line here, we should be able to open this door back up as well, and then people can start doing some proper work. Okay, let's see who have we got here. Von Braun. Oh, thank you. Also, I've noticed we got some tasty, tasty diamond right now. I might just pick that up. That that would be pretty pretty nice to have. The water is flowing down nicely. Yeah, mostly this is actually going okay. We're going to end up with a whole bunch of liquids that we need to deal with somehow and some way at some time. Uh, but we will almost definitely manage that. Where are you actually going, Kira? Are you taking this one out or are you going to take these other ones out? I'd, I'd kind of like you to head up there as well. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, how are things going here? The, the, uh, the pressure is pretty low. Oh, but we've got an airflow tile, so that should just balance out as well that's good this airflow tile actually probably going to be doing quite a lot of work of keeping this whole area here breathable okay with that going does the flow rate increase i'm not sure that it has to be fair once we take this moment right here and watch the water drain out of this horrendous explosion in the form of a time lapse, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people who are helping me with my horrendous explosion of a life that's right my patrons Scroll up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future as comfortably as possible. As I'm sure you can imagine, things like this, oh, they do take some time and trying to make sure that I've got the time in my schedule is not the easiest task and it's only with the support of my patrons right here that I actually find that I have the time to do so. So from the very, very bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, to say that could have gone worse is a bit of an understatement there. That went incredibly well. I want to try and up the priority on these builds over here, though. Uh, I think if we just kind of take a little mop to some of this polluted water down here... Why, why can't we get to it? What do you mean we can't reach? Why? Oh, by the way, I've installed the uh, Better Tooltips mod. Uh, let's try and find something down at the bottom of the... Uh, there, look at that. Tool, uh, better, better, better cards? Better info cards. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at all this. Well, I, I mean, I'll... I'll I'll be honest with you, this was kind of expect expected. This was kind of expected. Uh, but yeah, look, it, it, it groups up all the uh, the info cards so you can see them at the bottom of the screen there. That's great. That's, that's exactly what I wanted. Talking of not what I wanted, though, let's try and see what we can mop up here. This may or may not be actually useful, uh, but we're, we're going to try it anyway while all of this water disappears. I don't know why I can't climb my way up there, though. Maybe it's because of the water here is stopping us. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, another thing I want to do is open this door back up. I, th I think it's time. I think it's time. Maybe put that up to a nine. Uh, to say that I'm worried about the potential steam explosion that's going to happen here is a bit of an understatement, but, you know, here we are making understatements. I'm very interested about what's going to happen when Von Braun gets down to the, the bottom bits here. Like, already he's mopping up 
uh, 200 kilos of water at a time yeah just completely emptied that that little bit of water there uh, completely out Dude, this is this is pretty pretty powerful pretty powerful needs to go breathe of course a weakness of almost all organic beings Okay, it just got completely flooded over. I mean, fair, fair. Are we gonna, are we gonna get more of that just complete flood over? So I'm guessing now I can't mop that up because there's too much liquid there. Okay, that that's fine. That's kind of expected. We'll come along and put a pitcher pump in there. I also wonder if we can mop those up. Yes, we can. Probably nothing down there, though. Whatever we can mop up, we can deal with in a slightly more expedient manner later on. Sorry, I was just trying to figure out what was going on here, but we're, we've got some pressure damage happening down there, and it's not really being fixed, is it? Okay, well, that's that's a thing. Oh, doing the mop destabilized a whole bunch of stuff and all the water's flowing again. I mean, that's that's also fine. That's also fine. Oh, no. Something has happened to empty out one of my cooling loops, and I don't know what it is. I don't think there's any connections going here. This is, this is pretty bad, especially as we don't have the water to throw back in it right now. I mean, like, we got some water down here, but the, the clean, beautiful water... Ah, we could just throw the polluted water into it that would probably work out quite well uh which cooling loop is it it's this one here though that is quite the distance away i really hope i remember to destroy all that oh Oh, what are, we, what are we missing here? Metal ores. That, that, that's kind of painful. Uh, I really hope that I remember to uh, take this down again afterwards. <laughs> that that would be very, very helpful if I did. Very helpful. Okay, one thing I want to do before all the water disappears is to replace this with an airflow tile. Oh, do, are, they, are they not, the delivery not been made yet? That, that's a bit rubbish. Uh, replace this with an airflow tile and try and squeeze out this block of oxygen. Uh, we might need to try and corner build a, uh, a little, little block there to try and force the oxygen up if that is a thing we need to do uh, but at the moment if we press f4 uh, let's have a look at the liquid you can see there is a, a pretty severe liquid barrier around all of these gases so i'm hoping the only place this can go is up uh, and then we just kind of let it free or something like that hopefully the water will slump back and then we'll replace it and uh, squeeze it what, what, what did we get there igneous rock why why igneous rock why where's Where's all the, uh, the the copper ore? Thank you very much. The the thing, the liquids are moving. I'm a little bit worried about this. I am I'm very scared. Very scared. Let's, let's press 9. Uh, also, have things got set up over here? Not quite. We're just waiting for one more liquid pipe to be put in place. And I bet the fact that I'm doing this is stopping that from happening. Uh, but something happened there. I'm just going to immediately set that back up to be replaced and uh, hopefully that is then this whole thing a potential ticking time bomb as it as the steam expands to however many times more it does. I don't I don't know if that's actually a problem in oxygen not included. I know if this was the real world and we suddenly turned all this liquid into into uh, steam whilst it was trapped in a very small box we'd, we'd have a very very bad time like a very bad time okay hopefully this is already enough to keep this guy over pressure i suppose we don't need to do any more than just this one airflow tile here really in fact if we put it down here it just looks a little bit nicer so that that's probably quite good as well is it unreachable it says unreachable but we'll, we'll see what happens when we actually get down to doing this properly the uh, the pump is also going to get put into place so that means we need to build some tiles these ones on the outside here much more important <laughs> what's carry breathing what, 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 is, what, is, what is Kiri breathing right there? Uh, it's got to be... Wait, gas is there. We, we've got to be like, yeah, polluted oxygen, a little bit of carbon dioxide. Those gases are never going to get free until we manage to empty out all these liquids. But uh, good, good work on you, Kiri, for finding it. Oh, and now she's away. Has she trapped herself? No, we're good. We're good. Okay, that's, that, that's fine. Well, whatever happened, I think it's something to do with the fact that we've got polluted water in this insulated line. What, what happened to empty out my, uh, my my cooling loop there? It must be something here. I must have connected stuff together. But it's, uh, it's kind of hard to see past the liquid bridges and know what you've done. So uh, liquid pipes, I'm just going to once again put those up like this no that's that's it will only let me do two at a time okay but we're just gonna make sure everything is disconnected just i've got to be sure because there's still look po polluted water in this pipe here and i don't actually know how it got here how is there polluted water inside this airflow tile what what's happened here 
maybe something to do with how everything broke. Maybe. Does the does the polluted water vent actually output up high? I thought it was this tile here, one up from the floor, this tile here. But but maybe we're, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's in a different place. Okay, the pressure has done rising here. What I want to know, it should be over pressure though. It should be over pressure. Are we put like, yeah, look, it's pushing polluted water up and into this airflow tile. And indeed, the amount of water in there is increasing. So this isn't good enough. This isn't good enough. So I'm going to move my transformer here. We're going to try and move this, uh, this heavy wire up. Uh, try and move the uh, conductive wire up. And then hopefully we can take all of this apart and get a much better directionality going for this so we can then drop some airflow tiles on top here we can't do it at the moment but that that's that's my plan this transformers in the book in the way okay only one more thing left to do really for the episode and that's clear out all of this polluted water it appears like it is going into the the oil wells and just wanting to be destroyed uh that that well i say that it's dropping down on the floor and, and i don't want that so what we're going to do is dump all of the water into this tank here we'll uh filter it later <coughs> But what I need to do is backtrack here and find where the last piece of polluted water is somewhere like that. So, there it is. I've, I've seen it. I've, there's the gap. Okay, great. All right, that 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 was that was a bit of a problem. Wow. Okay, that that's that's not what I want. Anyway, uh, we now we cut that there. Uh, we should be able to drain all of this water into this tank here, and then we'll set up some sort of filtering process to let them back out later. Maybe even uh, if polluted water shunt back into the tank. I don't, I don't know about that. But this should now, if Curie goes ahead and puts the pipe the pipe in place, all of the water is now pouring into there. Okay, that that is beautiful. And I think with that, I'm going to say. Thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, there have been big things happening today. We've managed to uh, drain all of these liquids out, but man, the polluted oxygen is real. And we've managed to cap the... Uh the polluted water event here as you can see i've moved these tiles up successfully and everything seems to be working out a-okay the uh cooling line is filling back up and as i say we are currently dealing with the mixed waters going into the oil well i will see you guys next time when we're going to finish fixing this little area over here and maybe we're getting on to the time where we can pour some water into the research reactor but i will see you then or when we're gonna do that Bye. Oh, look, we, we dug through.